three years ago, I was in your shoes. I was in a job I didn't like, while my friends were joining cool tech companies and building the platforms of the future. That's when Ruben, Timo, and I decided to leave our jobs and break into tech. I started learning how to code by using the free online resources, but I soon realized that getting a job as a software engineer is going to require a lot more. And that's when I came across Hack Reactor. A few months after, I graduated and was interviewed with top tech companies, nailing the technical interviews and collecting job offers. Getting that first job as a software engineer was a game changer. And that's why I'm excited to be taking you behind the scenes to Hack Reactor and meeting with Marcus Phillips, the founder of Hack Reactor, and Aubrey Brown, the head of diversity and inclusion. Let's break in. What's going on, everybody? We're here with another Inside a Startup series, and we're live at Hack Reactor. As you guys know, recently we decided to go inside of boot camps, startups, nonprofits, and show you guys what it's like to actually be a software engineer or be a student in one of these boot camps. Today we're honored to be at Hack Reactor. So, as you know, my twin brother Arthur went to Hack Reactor. And my brother right now is studying to get into Hack Reactor, so I told him to tune in live right now so yeah. he can know what's going on so he knows it's not a scary thing. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what we're doing now is we're going to meet the founders of Hack Reactor and they're going to give us a tour of the space, answer any questions that you have. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and uh, we'll try to get it answered. Also, um, if you're interested in the free giveaway, comment Hack in the comments and uh, we'll send you the free giveaway. And make sure you do that. Let's go. Let's break in, guys. Let's get it. Yeah, what up, guys? What's up, Marcus? What up, Marcus? What up, Marcus? How's it going? For those who don't know, this is Marcus and Albrecht. Marcus, she's the founder of Hack Reactor. Albrecht, do you want to introduce yourself? Head of Diversity and Inclusion at Hack Reactor. And uh, what's cool about Albrecht is that he was actually the guest on our podcast. And the first one. The first episode of our podcast was with Albrecht, so <laughs> definitely check it out after the video. This is Hack Reactor. Let's go, guys. So I'm going to give you sort of a timeline tour. Uh, when students first uh, get done with pre-course and they're ready to start the class on week one, day one, they join these pairs. All of these students are in groups of two, kind of working together to figure out some particular challenge for that, for that sprint. And then they repair with a new person to kind of have a new experience, uh, negotiating it out with a different person on a new topic. Once they get done with the first six weeks uh, and they've finished the academic curriculum, which is mostly focused on specific concepts and topics that, uh, that underpin all of computer science and software engineering, uh, they come back in the second half and sit with the senior section. And in the senior section, they're working primarily on group projects, uh, collaborating effectively with one another, uh, using effective code sharing workflows uh, and shipping a product. Uh, all of those aspects are pretty difficult for new software engineers to do without a lot of experience and handling. For someone who doesn't know a coding bootcamp, someone who might have gone to college and they start hearing this word coding bootcamp, what is a coding bootcamp and what is Hack Reactor? Got it. So, uh, a coding boot camp is an environment that eschews most of the standard ways that traditional education works. Things like the inverted class model, things like uh, having access to on-demand support and help when you hit a sticking point, uh, a day-long lab experience. Those are things that are part of this new wave of education we call boot camps. And I would say another major factor is the, the immersion. So uh, this particular boot camp, we have 11 hour days and six day weeks so that we can get as much learning done about one topic as quickly as possible and start a new career. Um, most of the students who come here come here with the intention of applying the skills they learn quite practically uh, somewhere out in the field. So we need to make sure that they acquire all the skills they need uh, as efficiently as possible and make them marketable within three months. At this point, how many graduates have you guys, uh, or how many alumni have you graduated from Hack Reactor? Uh, I would say it's uh, in the you know 2000 something oh, something. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of people. Yeah. So these are these are folks who um, 
chose to go the untraditional route and instead of getting the four, uh, some of them probably did get a four-year four degree in computer science or all, all these other majors, but they chose Hack Reactor because you guys teach um, a very hands-on approach to modern like web technologies. And uh, a lot of the people coming out of Hack Reactor and other boot camps, you're literally able to get a job at these startups who are hungry for talent. Tell us a little about the outcomes of Hack Reactor and what companies do people usually end up working at? Yeah, so uh, outcomes of Hack Reactor. So as you all know, uh, boot camps themselves have done a very good job of making sure that students get jobs. And I think first and foremost, just to go over like our philosophy of how we, how we do what we do, um, is at the beginning of the pipeline. Uh, when you come to Hack Reactor, you will notice that every single person that is here is great technically and also just a great person. So we make sure to, within our interview, uh, really, really look for those who are hungry, who are hustlers, who are looking to break into startups, you know what I'm saying? So I think that really translates to the great outcomes that we have. In San Francisco, we have a 91% placement rate after three months, I mean after six months, and an 85% placement rate after three months. Um, you know, those who uh, uh, end up graduating from our course uh, end up working at a, a lot of different companies. So you have people who are interested in working in like very, very small startups or even starting things on their own, right? Um, you have those who are looking to work at places like Facebook or Google. We actually have 16 people at Facebook, 23 people at Google. Um, I think that we have over 20 people at Amazon, um, a lot of people at LinkedIn as well. So our alumni uh, network is very well connected in the big company scene. As far as mid-level companies or like uh, smaller companies, um, I actually just got an email today that Eventbrite, uh, we have a bunch of uh, grads at Eventbrite. Um, um, another, a, a speaker who I'm not going to say just yet because I haven't locked him down, uh, emailed me today and said that his grad is totally killing it. Awesome. Um, at Eventbrite right now, which is great to know. We have uh, grads at Redfin, um, which is a smaller company that does like kind of uh, investment analysis uh, uh, with their software. So when you're thinking about a boot camp in general, right, there's not only tuition, but there's mm -hmm. the three months opportunity cost of taking it, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that every student that comes to Hack Reactor um, has many different options to take the course so that they can take this opportunity. So the first one is obviously paying us up front. Right. And if you do have the cash to come to Hack Reactor, that's great. We're about $17,790. Um, we also have financing options that are built around the framework of our program. So we have Skills Fund and we have Climb. Uh, both of those options are credit-based, although you can have somebody who's a co-signer, um, so you don't have to have great credit yourself, uh, and they will pay for not only the tuition, but if you need that three-month stipend, you can also take that on, up to $9,000 there. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we have scholarships. Uh, we have a very big scholarship pool. Um, we're giving away about nine scholarships coming up in our in October cohort, and we want to run a scholarship program every quarter. Uh, and companies just look to us as a great investment. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when it comes to um, diversity and inclusion especially, right? Uh, organizations really see us as a, as a pipeline to creating diversity and inclusion in the hardest space, which yeah. is software engineering. Right? Mm -hmm. So although we, uh, you know, we have nine, I said we have nine scholarships coming up, you should always be checking our scholarship page because we have new partners um, coming on board a lot and I work with them specifically. Track Academy, I know it's now like Telegraph Track, what's yeah. the latest with Telegraph? Yeah, so uh, just to reiterate, I am Head of Diversity and Inclusion at Hack Reactor. Um, I think we're one of the only boot camps with a someone who is specifically dedicated to diversity and inclusion, and that's something that's very important to us. For us, it's not just about like bringing in diverse candidates, mm -hmm. right? It's about really supporting them as they go through the program. Yeah. So, Telegraph Track, which is an amalgamation of Telegraph Academy, yeah. um, is a program that specifically supports underrepresented folks by pairing them with mentors, by doing company tours for companies that are interested in bringing on uh, underrepresented engineers. We have a lot of connections with a lot of orgs mm -hmm. who, are wit who, who see our grads as assets and, and want to invest in the careers of those who are underrepresented. Mm -hmm. So Telegraph Track is basically an inroads into a community of underrepresented folks, mm -hmm. um, 
mentorship and connections into the industry that you may not have uh, coming in. So if you are interested in learning how to code um, in any capacity, um, obviously join Hack Reactor, right? We have the SSP program, uh, we have uh, our pre-course material, and then you can end up here, but Facebook Developer Circle is also a good place to start as well. Yeah, and you mentioned SSP. Uh, so what, what would be the best way for someone to prepare for the admissions process at Hack Reactor? Because I know you guys are very, it's very competitive. Yeah. Uh, so what, what would be your advice uh, to your younger self who was applying to Hack Reactor? Yeah, and I think I talked about this on the yeah. podcast where we, we uh, I spent about five or six months learning JavaScript and I had no technical background before coming to Hack Reactor. And I think up until a couple years ago, getting into a boot camp, there was a black box mm -hmm. around the admissions process, which made it difficult for people to know what they needed to get in, right? Um, so you could be looking for a bunch of different resources. There's Code Academy, there's Free Code Camp, there's uh, Treehouse and all these things. And mm -hmm. those will teach you the things you need to know. However, uh, we developed a prep course. Um, it's called Hack Reactor Prep. Um, and it's comprehensive. It'll teach you all of the technical and non-technical things you need to know to uh, be admitted and be ready for our course, um, as well as like interview training, um, learning about you know how a software engineer thinks, because mm -hmm. that's what we're looking White for. Whiteboarding? Um, we don't do whiteboarding specifically. That's, uh, we, do, uh, we do like online remote um, interviews, so we train you for those type of things. Um, but once you get in the court, course, we do start doing whiteboarding. So Hack Reactor Prep is a really good way to, to do that. So I say that because SSP, uh, the Structured Study Program, mm -hmm. is a uh, directed uh, a Hack Reactor Prep, where you will um, join a community of learners who are also learning the same thing. Uh, you'll get uh, lectures, you'll get um, instruction, you'll have access to a help desk, and you don't have to do this on your own. You don't have to learn um, JavaScript or how to be a software engineer on your own. You can start literally from, from, from zero uh, and go all the way to being ready for Hack Reactor. And at Hack Reactor, we say we don't teach you, we don't, we don't teach you from zero to 100. It's actually 20 to 120. So SSP, Structured Study Program, has been built to get you to 20 so that we can then take you uh, on the rocket ship that gets you to 120. So that's what I'd say is the best resource for learning, uh, uh, for, for getting ready for our interview, uh, the Structured Study Program. Awesome, yeah. yeah. So excuse me, sir. What's your name? Carlo. Albre. Are you okay? Timor. Nice to meet you. No, no, no. We no. Want to actually love We're doing a Facebook yeah. Live. Uh, would love to. Did Ooh. you graduate I, from Hack I Reactor? I did, yeah. Nice. Yeah. How recently? Uh, June. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Nice. nice. What do you up to here at the Woman? I am getting my startup launched. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you're launching right nice. now. Nice. So, this, is, this is base camp one, everybody. Yeah, this is that is co working <laughs> space, right? <laughs> one of the great things about Hack Reactor, I think, is that you know it gives entrepreneurs the skills to be able to like build apps in an accelerated yeah. pace. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, sure. So basically, like, um, well, my space, I, I actually had a finance background, so now uh, I'm actually launching a hedge, like a hedge fund platform for cryptocurrencies. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, so one of the things my co-founders, I'm, I'm actually developing like the investor dashboard and portal and everything. Yeah. So that and actually this past weekend we did, uh, some of my cohort mates and I we did this angel hack hackathon. Yeah. And we started building this dashboard for my startup and we won like second place. Wow. Wow. Holy oh, awesome. hell. And the ha and they, the hackathon, we have a call with them Friday because they want to like put us in their accelerator program. That's wow. amazing. That's right. yeah. So wow. you're the you're the founder and the engineer, it sounds like, right? Yeah. CTO? Would you consider yourself? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah, that is. Yeah. Cool. So, so yeah, you're putting, that, you're putting that JavaScript to good use, sounds like. Yeah, and actually, uh, with an, a very specific case for me is like, so developing for cryptocurrencies, like in Ethereum, mm -hmm. it's a language called Solidity, which mm -hmm. is based on JavaScript. Okay. So it's like, people who are getting, it's fairly new, uh, this mm -hmm. case, but, it's based on JavaScript, so you have that kind of building block to start from. It sounds like yeah. you were passionate about finance before you got the skills yeah. to code, and now you're applying it back to your yeah. love. Basically, and clearly you're passionate about it because you worked in the, on it this late. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Respect. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank thanks you, man. No problem. Appreciate it. This yeah. is what happens at alumni lounge. Uh, Aubrey, thanks a lot for showing us around. 
will definitely be back for maybe some graduation uh, dem demos or uh, yeah. any events that you guys have here. Yeah. Uh, for all of you guys listening, uh, check out Hack Reactor's uh, website. Uh, we're gonna include all the links in there and uh, stay tuned for more content uh, coming out of Breaking Into Startups. Peace, guys. Peace. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, then please like and subscribe below to stay up to date on all the upcoming episodes. This season, we're going behind the scenes and doing video tours of companies like Reddit, Checker, and sales and coding boot camps like Always Hired, Full Stack, and App Academy. Most importantly, though, if you know someone who's looking for a job in tech, whether it's your cousin who just graduated college or your little sister who lost her job, please share this video to learn more about all the amazing opportunities that exist in tech. And remember, it's never too late to break into tech. Let's break in.